The cost of living is turning into a major crisis in 2023. And the worst part is that Americans can no longer afford some of their favorite foods. Now in 2022, the biggest worry that Americans had was inflation. But now, it is just their ability to afford basic necessities and food. One of the worst parts of about 2023 so far is that inflation on certain items has actually taken hold. And unfortunately, one of those items that is seeing high inflation is food. So today, we're actually going to go over some of the food items that Americans can no longer afford to buy. And this list is based off of what you guys have said in the comment section over the past few weeks. But let's get some let's get some of these food items that Americans can no longer afford to buy and let me know your thoughts on these. Is there anything that you would add or do you think that these are actually coming down in price? First one is flour. Due to the conflict in uh, Russia and Ukraine, the entire world saw a shortage of wheat and grain. Uh, both hard and soft uh, wheat is actually used to make all-purpose flour. So this created a problem for us here in the United States as well as other parts of the world. The fact that shipping costs also jumped, this didn't help. But also the price of manufacturing increased as well. All these things push flour up even higher. But according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, they say the increase in price from 2021 to 2022 is the worst on record. That's not good. The second food item that Americans can no longer afford to buy is bread. And this is due to the wheat shortage and cost increases. Bread prices were a, a direct result of the, the shortage of wheat and the increased uh, shipping and manufacturing costs. In previous years, I would guarantee you could find a loaf of bread between 99 cents and $1.99. Now, it will be very difficult to find a loaf of bread for 99 cents. In most cases, you're going to spend between $1.99 and $4.99 for one loaf of bread. However, unfortunately, some loaves of bread have skyrocketed in price and now cost more than six to seven dollars for one single loaf. But let me ask you this, would you spend seven dollars on one loaf of bread? For me personally, I would not. The next item that Americans cannot afford to buy is seafood. Now in previous years, the US consumer would only turn to seafood if they couldn't afford other meats like beef and pork and chicken, but not anymore. Seafood is getting more and more expensive. It's even more expensive than some other sources of protein. And this is due to supply, but demand has stayed the same. Recently, we have seen extreme weather completely decimate some populations of seafood. The warming waters are also causing millions of seafood to simply die off. Just in the month of November, seafood rose by 18.8%. Another food item that Americans can no longer afford to buy are fresh vegetables. Vegetables in 2022, they saw a major spike simply because of supply and demand. Demand rose in 2022 because other staples that we would normally have, well, they decreased. We, it was tough to find bread and things like that. So what did the American people do? We turned to vegetables and fruits. Great, the problem there, is the supply. This was due to extreme weather conditions across the United States as well as other countries. And due to import costs from other countries, it caused the prices of vegetables to go up. The good news now though, is the price of fresh vegetables is actually going down. And this again, this is good news, but it could be temporary. So just be patient on that. But vegetables are a staple for most people's diet. So it's not like we can just forget about vegetables altogether and decide, all right, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a steak, I'm gonna have a, a piece of bread, and then I'm, uh, I'll just have some ice cream to go along with it. No, most people have fruit or vegetable to go along with their meals. The next item is eggs. Eggs are one of those items that we have seen in the media for the past few weeks. 
Egg prices have more than doubled over the past two years and the prices are not stopping. You turn on the TV, you turn on TikTok, you turn on YouTube, you turn on Facebook or Instagram and you're going to see somebody's out there just uh, not even complaining, but they are showing their their stores, they're showing their their Safeways and their Albertsons and their their Costco's and their their Winco and their their uh, you know Albi Foods whatever, right? They're they're showing all these uh, different stores, no eggs. There's no eggs to be found. Egg prices from November 2022 to December 2022, so just one month, egg prices increased by 11%. And this was according to the Consumer Price Index. But why? Simply because of supply and demand. Demand for eggs has always been high. We use eggs in a lot of things. But recently, due to the bird flu and culling of millions of uh, chickens, this is causing egg prices to surge. And the unfortunate thing is experts believe egg prices are not done rising. So just be prepared for that. The next thing are soft drinks. Some people laughed. Some people thought I was joking when I said back in August that the price of uh, beer and the price of soft drinks is going to go up. Some people are like, yeah, there's no shortage. It's not going up. It is going up. Most people didn't believe there was a shortage of this certain product, but there is. The shortage is not actually of soft drinks. The shortage is carbon dioxide. There's a shortage of carbon dioxide and has been for the past year. This is what we're experiencing. Manufacturers are struggling to get enough carbon dioxide to uh, produce all their beverages. As a result, we are paying a higher price. But there's something even scarier that's happening. Not only are we paying a higher price, but now, according to many manufacturers, there are talks that they're going to end certain beverages so that they can use that carbon dioxide to produce their best-selling products. So think about that. Maybe you really love to drink Pepsi or, or Coca-Cola or whatever. Here's the issue. What if you know uh, whoever uh, produces Coca-Cola or Pepsi decides, you know what? We just can't produce Mountain Dew anymore. We just can't produce Dr. Pepper. We just can't produce Sprite or 7-Up. We're gonna eliminate that beverage to take all of that carbon dioxide and put it into our Pepsi or to our Coca-Cola, the best selling products. So let me know your thoughts, but this is what's happening. Now we are seeing millions and millions of Americans not even go to the grocery store to buy the things that they want and the things that they love. They're just going to buy what they can afford. That's what we're seeing. There's a shift. And as we see this greater shift and we see more people stop buying the more expensive items, guess what? That's when good news comes back and we will see those items drop in price, which makes them more affordable. So that's what we know at this time. As always, as I know more, I promise, I'll come back on and share all latest news and updates. Again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.